Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. It's been a portion of your day with me, and if you are new here, it's your first video watching. I want to give you an extra special hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for choosing to click on my video today. It really means a lot to me. Today, I'll be bringing you my April empties. Yes, I am super late. Today is July 22nd. I did film one video. I'm like, let me film another one. I have a long list of videos that I wanted to do, but I need to get this trash recycled. <laughs> so, if you are interested in my thoughts, uh, if I would repurchase our pass, if I loved it, hated it, it was meh, for my April empties, there is quite a lot in here, then go ahead and keep on watching. friends so I normally keep my empties in one container but I'm backed up so they're in whatever bag like that I can find I have um, <laughs> April empties I had May March I have June's collecting so I already filmed May's um, because there was there's more in here but <laughs> that is kind of how my life is going right now but it's okay I am trying I'm trying to keep up with it, and I love it and I enjoy it so we're just going to go ahead and pick. There's a lot of things in here. Makeup, hair, skin, body, all of the above. So we're just going to go ahead. And, I see one makeup. I did finish this uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I know that this was like all the rage. I really enjoy this. I do have a few more. But this one was a little bit darker. So I did mix it with another foundation. I mean another concealer that I did finish. My Tarte Shape Tape was in my partners in cream i believe or my regular project pen so i did mix those and i got i finished this i did remove the stopper i did enjoy this so that is good um i will repurchase because i do have a lot of concealers but if i didn't have as many concealers as i did i definitely would have purchased it it is a, like a little lighter weight i don't need a lot of coverage i don't like a lot of coverage i don't like a thick one like when i use a shape tape i just put a dot i don't wear a lot of concealer so it takes me time to get through them but when i do i'm super happy next is from igk it is a first class charcoal detox dry shampoo i did get this in vodka charm this is pretty expensive i love 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 this i love dry shampoos I live off dry shampoos. This did work. Um, I would definitely repurchase this. I have dwindled down to my final two um, dry shampoos. So I, once I'm done with one, I'm going to go ahead and get another one. Because I use it so often, I don't mind having one backup, but I don't need five backups. <laughs> so I'm going to double check my stash and make sure that those are my last two. Because some keep popping out of nowhere, but I would definitely repurchase this. I do have greasy hair. I have darker hair like I washed my hair yesterday I believe or the day before and it's already greasy so I just have oily skin oily scalp but dry shampoo does a trick and it works so I definitely would repurchase this I did finish um, this was in 50 shades of green I don't even know if I did my update it is from Bath and Body Works it is a crisp orchid leaves fine fragrance mist I did enjoy this I got all the fall vibes very light it's not leafy, but it's very like, I don't know, I don't know what the scents are. Oh, let me see. Oh, they stopped putting them on there. Let me see. I can't remember. I did like this. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but this was great for fall, but then I would like use it day to day. Like if I'm going to the gym, if I'm just running errands, if I'm just going here, because it is very light and I did enjoy that. Next is from Peter Thomas Roth. It is a Max Complexion Pads. I have gone through several, several of these. It has 2% salicylic acid and 10% glycolic acid. I definitely would repurchase this, but I'm trying to get down on like my toners and my pads and stuff like that. I do buy these when it Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So next Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I will purchase these. Um, I'll purchase two because I do love these. I do need salicylic acid and glycolic works well with my skin, but I do was i did have a lot of toner so once those go down i definitely will be be repurchasing this i have recommended this i do love it i know peter thomas roth isn't cruelty free but these do work for my skin so i i i i <laughs> i bite the bullet because i do see a difference with that 
Next is another dry shampoo. I absolutely love this one. I've recommended it. I've gifted it. I've had large ones. This is probably my favorite. It is a Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. Um, I haven't found this, but you can purchase this on Amazon. This works. This is my holy grail. I was saving these for like special occasions, but I'm like, Erica, why? Just use your shit. It's going to go bad. Stop hoarding things and stop I mean, now, like, the Batiste is, like, $12. Like, the cheap ones, it's not it's not cheap anymore. So, like, when I was seeing that, I was like, let me use what I have and get through. And then I kept finding things, kept finding these. One of these may be lying around somewhere downstairs in my bathroom. So, we shall see if one pops up. I really hope that one pops up. Next is the Olaplex uh, shampoo and conditioner. I love Olaplex. I was blonde. Olaplex does work for my hair. I um I don't feel like I need this currently. My hair is in re regrowth process but I like to have this on hand I did purchase some Joyco um, I wish I love Joyco too um, but I once I'm finished with one of those I did purchase I like to okay blah, 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 spit it out Erica I like to have two different kinds of shampoos and two different kinds of conditioners in my shower yes I'm that extra in case you have never noticed I like right now I have like a deep strengthening repair one and then also a moisturizing one I do have oily skin my ends are a little bit drier from the bleach like it's finally like coming out I did just get a trim and I did trim uh, freshen up my hair so I once I'm finished with one of those I will definitely buy one of these but if your hair is damaged this will do the trick I did love this I do enjoy this and I'm super happy with this so I definitely will repurchase it, but it's not anytime soon because I do like to trade out my shampoos and conditioners because if I'm using the same one, I find that it doesn't work. Here's another one. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing. Um, I did like this. There was one from Herbal Essence that I didn't like. My husband, like when I went dark, I'm like, baby, can you buy me some shampoo? I've never really bought shampoo from the grocery store in years, 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 years probably like seven, eight years. I've always bought them like higher end because I've always color treated my hair. But I was like, you know what? I'm brown. I don't need, I don't really need one. I can use whatever. So um, he, he, uh, he's like, what do you want? I'm like, I don't really know what there's out there. Just buy it. So he was smelling and he knew Garnier. So I really like the smell. And this one really did work. It smells wonderful. I probably bought it for the smell because, so I do recommend this one if you're like, you know, shopping at the, the drugstore, the grocery store, whatever, Walmart, Target, wherever. Um, I did like this one. Um, I just love to rotate my shampoo and conditioners. And, but because I can get a discount with my license, that's why I tend to buy more higher end ones. Because nowadays, shampoo and conditioner, they're just getting so expensive. I'm like, well, for $10, for three more dollars, I can get a Matrix or a Joyco or Olaplex or something like that because I do get a discount with my license for salon quality hair products. We have finished this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Golden Beige Foundation. I really love this one. I think I have one more. This is an older favorite. Um, I What project was this in? I think my Throwback 30, was it was in that project. I will leave my whole project pan playlist down below. I still love this. I did scrape it out. The only thing is like scraping it out, it's hard to get it like right here. So you kind of have to like, I think I held it upside down in like an empty container and I decanted it that way. But yeah, there's really nothing, like there's nothing on this, this spatty, the spatula. So I did finish that and I'm super happy to be getting foundations out of my collection. And then we have a Becca um, set, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I had, I'm trying to go through my powders and stop using my favorite, favorite ones because I have blue kudos of powders sitting there, mini, full size, whatever. But because this one is moist, Becca also is no longer a company. But because this one was moist, I'm like, it's probably going to dry out. So like, I got it used. And if, I would recommend this if Becca was still a company. But unfortunately, Becca is no longer a company. I, it came in like a little mesh thing you put your thing in there and then at the end I just always pop it out because you still get the stuff right here but I'll probably keep this in case I need to decant anything in my collection and this is great great little great little pot but I do love this one but uh, I wish Becca would come back but I don't think that they are I did I loved a lot of things that I tried from Becca and then this is a Sabor I got no I got this in box charm because I don't even know this brand. oh you know what 
I got it when I went to get a facial. This was super expensive, but this was just okay. Um, I don't know. I think it was just okay. I didn't, it didn't hurt my skin, but I did buy it. I didn't buy it here in town. I bought it at a salon. So I don't even like, I bought it at a hotel spa. So I don't know what line they use, but I'm going ahead and keep it so I can do some research on the rest of their products. And then I have this, um, Purito from Green Cleansing Oil. I do absolutely love this one. I only have two more cleansing oils left. And I definitely will be repurchasing this one. I've gone through several. I use this on my office. I believe it's like $16, $17 on Amazon. And it is $8.76. You definitely need to double cleanse your skin with makeup. Even if you're like, oh, I just put on SPF. You need to break down that SPF to get it off your face. Oil attracts oil. So you'll cleanse it. And then you go in with your second cleanser. Always double cleanse your face. I double cleanse all the time. I go through cleansing oils and SPF like crazy. Those are my probably like, <laughs> I've been going through a lot of eye creams too. So I, I get through my skincare. So a lot of this was skin and hair care this month. So that's pretty cool. This was the um, Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. You can purchase this at Ulta. I think I got this in BoxyCharm, but I did get a mini and I loved it. I did like this one. But I used to love it more than I did now. But I think because like, you know, becoming an esthetician, experimenting with different ingredients. This was my AM one and I really love that. I am an AM skincare person and a PM skincare person. I have moisturizing and then I have like salicylic acid for nighttime. So I would recommend this for AM. But me, I can't use it for PM because I do have oily skin. I do have breakouts. I have some on my a little bit like right here my skin is definitely not perfect by no means and then as i said in other empty videos i've been trying to get through my perfume samples we only got through two this month but that is okay one was the britney spears fantasy i absolutely love this one this is an old classic i want i want to purchase the full-size perfumes those are like at tj maxx and all over um they used to be pretty expensive but now they're not but um, I do have quite a bit of perfume, perfume samples. And this one was the Aeron um, Mediterranean Honeysuckle. There is a squirt. Let me see. Let's see if I could get a squirt out. Very fresh. Very clean. Very springy. I don't know. It's not my favorite. Very, not so much fruity. I see, I, I smell a lot of florals and I'm not a floral type of gal. Yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this one, but I would repurchase this one. But if you like florally, floral scents, <laughs> then you would definitely like this guy. But that is it. That is all my empties for the month of April. A lot of it was like big stuff, so I thought I had a lot more than I than I. Did, but that's okay we got through a lot of hair and we got through three makeup empties so that is super awesome you will I will leave my beauty bank down below three makeup empties means three makeup points added to my beauty bank I love you all let me know what you are finishing if you are here to the end please leave a little trash can emoji so I know you made it to the end of my shenanigans I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys